even though only six Jamaican senior women managed to run under 51 seconds over 400 meters in 2023, together they made a good account of themselves throughout the season and at the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. The most interesting part is that not all the top Jamaican women were actively competing over 400 meters during this period. Some used the event for strength work and speed endurance, which helps in their other events, and overall it highlighted the depth and versatility of Jamaican sprinting. The group includes young, upcoming athletes and athletes achieving excellent results via personal bests. The top six are Stacey Ann Williams, Candice McLeod, Nikki Shaw Price, Cherokee Young, Geneve Russell, and Sharika Jackson. 24-year-old Stacey Ann Williams, PB 50.12, ran her fastest time in April at the Percy Beard Track in Gainesville, Florida. She finished first in the Olympic development category with a time of 50.12 seconds. Aliyah Abrams of Guyana finished second with 50.77, followed by American Brittany Brown, 51.15, and Jamaica's Junelle Bromfield, 51.85. At the Jamaican National Trials in July, she finished second in her semifinals with 51.14 seconds, behind winner Cherokee Young, 50.99. However, she failed to show for the 400 meters final the following day due to complications with her health and niggling injury concerns. At the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary, she was selected for the team in the mixed 4x400 meters relay. However, the team finished ninth overall after the heats and did not advance to the finals. A few days later, she was able to shake off the disappointment of the mixed 4x400 meters and anchor the Jamaican team in the women's 4x400 meters final to a silver medal in a time of 3 minutes and 20.88 seconds. Her teammates were Nikki Shaw Price, Geneve Russell, and Candice McLeod. McLeod gave Jamaica a good start, providing Russell with a slight lead, and Price, in her first World Championships relay final, gave Jamaica the advantage on the final leg. However, Williams was pipped at the finish by the Netherlands and a heroic anchor leg by World 400 meters hurdles champion Fempel, clocking a world leading 3 minutes in 20.72 seconds. The next fastest on time is 27-year-old Candice McLeod, PB 49.51. Interestingly, McLeod ran her fastest time after the Jamaican national trials from July 6 to 9, where she finished third in the finals behind Nikki Shaw Price, 50.21, and Geneve Russell, 50.76. Candice McLeod clocked a season's best of 50.19 seconds for a fourth-place finish in the women's 400 meters at the Silesia Diamond League on Sunday, July 16, five weeks away from the World Championships in Budapest. Her compatriot, Cherokee Young, withdrew from the event. The 400 meters was won in a meet record and personal best time of 49.48 seconds by Poland's Natalia Kaczmarek. At the World Championships in Budapest, McLeod, competing in Heat 1, finished third in 50.37 seconds in a race won by Poland's Natalia Kaczmarek in 50.02 seconds. She became Jamaica's lone representative in the final of the women's 400 meters after finishing fourth in semi-final one in 50.62 seconds but managed to secure a non-automatic qualifying spot in a race. That was won by the Dominican Republic's Marilady Paulino in 49.54 seconds. She placed 7th in the 400 meters final after clocking 51.08 seconds. McLeod then went on to help her teammates win a spirited silver medal in the women's 4x400 meters finals. Third fastest in line is 22-year-old Nikki Shaw Price. PB 50.21, with 50.21 seconds. Price timed her season to perfection, peaking at the right moment and delivering her best performance ever over 400 meters at the Jamaican National Athletic Trials in July. She qualified for the women's 400 meters final with the fastest time of 50.60 seconds in semi-final three, finishing ahead of 400 meters hurdles champion Geneve Russell, who clocked 50.98 seconds. The former Veer technical athlete captured her first national senior title in fine style as the University of Arkansas quarter-miler won the women's 400 meters final in a personal best, 50.21 seconds. 
booking her spot on the Jamaican team to Budapest. Geneve Russell also produced a personal best, 50.76, to finish second, while defending champion Candice McLeod had to settle for third in 51.01 seconds. At her first World Championships in Budapest, the newly minted national senior champion, Price, strolled to victory in heat four of the women's 400 meters, crossing the tape in 50.38 seconds, while Cherokee Young, despite finishing sixth in the final heat in 51.24, secured a non-automatic qualifying spot. Nikki Shaw Price in semifinal two finished fifth after clocking 51.24 and did not advance to the finals. However, she came back in the women's 4x400 meters final to run a brilliant third leg, helping Jamaica win a silver medal. 23-year-old Cherokee Young, PB 49.87, is next in line at 50.45 seconds. She turned professional this season when she signed with Puma. Her season's best time came in May at the NACAC New Life Invitational Meet at the Grand Bahama Sport Complex in Freeport, Bahamas. Young finished second in the women's 400 meters, clocking 50.45 seconds, while her teammate, Stacy and Williams, finished fourth in 51.04 seconds. Aaliyah Abrams of Guyana won the event in 50.20 seconds. In June, Young demonstrated her prowess by dominating a strong field in the women's 400 meters at the Racers Grand Prix in Jamaica at the National Stadium. Running from lane three, she won in 51.11 seconds ahead of fellow Jamaican Stacey Ann Williams, who ran 51.34, and the USA's Kendall Ellis, who recorded a season's best of 51.37. At the Jamaican National Athletic Trials in July, Young won semifinal two in 50.99 seconds, ahead of Stacey Ann Williams, 51.14, and Sheehan Salmon, 51.22. She finished fourth in the finals in 51.37 seconds, a race won by the outstanding Nikki Shaw Price in 50.21 seconds. Although Young did not initially qualify as one of the top three finalists at the Jamaican trials, she secured an individual spot in the top three due to the withdrawal of second place Geneve Russell, who opted out to focus on her 400 meters hurdles event. At the World Championships in Budapest, Young booked her spot in the women's 400 meters semifinals, despite finishing sixth in the final heat in 51.24, securing a non-automatic qualifying spot. Young had to settle for sixth in 51.40 in her semis, missing out on the finals. She then helped her team of Nika Shaw Price, Sheehan Salmon, and Stacey Ann Williams ease into the finals of the 4x400 meters relay following a world-leading winning time of 3 minutes and 22.74 seconds in Heat 1. Thirty-year-old Geneve Russell, PB 50.76, is the fifth fastest Jamaican woman over 400 meters in 2023, with a significant personal best time of 50.76 seconds. A day after winning the national 400-meter hurdles title for the third time in a row, 53.75, Geneve Russell began her quest for the double over 400 meters. At the Jamaican National Athletic Trials, Russell finished second in semifinal three in 50.98 seconds behind the winner Nikki Shaw Price, 50.60, then went on to finish second again in the finals, producing a personal best of 50.76 seconds, once again behind winner Nikki Shaw Price in 50.21 seconds. Russell did not compete in the flat 400 meters event at the World Championships in Budapest. Instead, she opted for her pet event in the 400 meters hurdles. Russell, running in heat two of the 400 meters hurdles, was the best of the field, clocking 54.53 seconds. She finished with 53.69 seconds for third in her semi and placed seventh in the 400 meters hurdles finals in 54.28 seconds. On the final day, she came back to help her Jamaican teammates on the second leg to win a silver medal in the 4x400m relay final. The sixth fastest Jamaican woman over 400 meters in 2023 is 29 year old Sharika Jackson, PB 49.47, with a time of 50.92 seconds. 
Sharika Jackson is currently the only athlete in world championship history to win medals in the 100, 200, and 400 meters. In 2022, she became the fastest woman alive and the second fastest woman of all time in the 200 meters. She is the world 200 meter champion. However, she started her career as a 400 meter sprinter. In 2021, she shifted her focus to shorter sprints, but there are signs that suggest she might be returning to the 400 meters after 2023. At the MVP Velocity Fest 12 on March 25th in Kingston, Jamaica, Jackson season's best of 50.92 seconds over 400 meters was the highlight of the meet. It was her third 400 meters race of the season, and she took command, finishing ahead of Stacey and Williams, 51.59, and Geneve Russell, 52.77. Although Jackson did not compete over 400 meters at the Jamaican National Athletic Trials, nor was she selected for 400 meters duties at the World Championship in Budapest, Hungary. She is expressing her excitement to return to her pet event next season. In conclusion, the Jamaican 400 meters women have indisputably claimed their place at the pinnacle of international athletics, gracing global finals and seizing coveted medals. This formidable team strikes a perfect balance, blending the expertise of seasoned campaigners with the electrifying potential of emerging talents. As they persistently invest in refining their preparation and skills to maintain their competitive edge, we extend our heartfelt wishes for their continued success. May they enjoy robust health, unwavering strength, and a plethora of outstanding results. Here's to the unstoppable force of these incredible ladies. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.